now this is the normal rectangle where this rectangle was drawn using the wires if you can click on this these two wires are separated so i want to join these wires what i will do i will click on both of them click enter these wires will be joined together now this dot have no importance now i want to delete it if i want to join all these lines i will select all the lines press enter all the wires will be combined together these all wires are interconnected or joined together to form a rectangle similarly as the line command to explore these lines click on this rectangle all the wires are exploded now similarly i want to explore this rectangle which are the normal line commands now you can see that these lines are separated now applying the break property on both the lines and the wires select the object select this line and uh, select the portion of the line and that portion will be broken similarly applying the property on wires click on the wire select the portion and that portion will be deleted so we can also use the break command on wires also as we are using in normal autocad now rejoin it uh, together now i have to apply another property which is move command to move this line to another location like i want to move it upward you can see that this line is moved forward but these lines remain in the same position similarly applying the move command on this wire entering the base point that wire is move so move command can work similarly on the lines and the wires now applying another property which is only specified a e scoot this is also for moving a component or a wire but how it works you can see that i have selected the wire select the component wire or wire number for scoot to which location which position you can move it upward or lower position i have moved my wire but the two other wires are also trimmed i again want to move it further below now you can see that these two wires also move with this rectangle so i can move these wires according to my positions but if i apply to this rectangle it will not be working on normal autocad commands so scoot command is not working on normal lines while it is working on wires so it is also one of the powerful property of autocad electrical in which we can move our lines or components to another location without affecting the whole drawings we draw some wires in rectangular form and join the wires to form a single rectangular object but it is not a good way to connect both ends of a wire without entering any load or power source between its terminals as no power will flow through these wires with zero load and also if its both ends are connected together now moving towards some of the other properties of uh, lines and uh, wires let's suppose we want to copy an object i have selected the line select the base point and select the distance or the displacement to copy the object stretch an object like rotate an object i want to rotate this line select the base point and the rotation angle either i will enter the rotation angle here or i will enter using my mouse this is the mirror command mirror of these three lines select specify the first point of mirror you can see that i can rotate it enter all these lines specify the base point and i want to scale my object up to the drawing area so this is actually the scaling command similarly i can also apply it on wires i have entered a line here now i want to extend this line up to this line then select and the line will be extended up to the location where i want to extend chamfer and fillet fillet command and this will create a sharp edge i want to make a offset distance see in the command line below that uh, it want to specify the distance now specify the object to offset i can take multiple offset of this object similarly enter the text lines multi line or single line dimension take the dimension find the dimension quickly select the dim i can also select the dimension from here like it's i want to enter this line 
to find uh, its dimension so it will show me the dimension of the line find the dimension or the measurement using the, this command measure so you can see that it will show me the complete dimensions or measurement of the objects you can see that it's very easy and it's the quickest way to find the dimensions easily in drawings similarly we can enter the dim command to find the dimension or dim linear these are the angular dimensions or regular radius diameter and similarly i can enter the measure geometry geom command to measure the geometry now let's draw a few lines when i move my mouse to the next position it show me the exact angle and the linear distance if i click on this dimension input and make it off then my dimension and the point will not be shown and the angle is not shown draw a few lines like in this way i have drawn the lines these are some angular lines if i click on this make orthogonal on then you can see that if i move my mouse to angular location i cannot draw my line in other angles